Hi, it's Katie Kovalvik here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a key distinction that will change your life, and that is responding versus reacting. So this was a big turn for me, I know, when I was getting over my injuries and I was really trying to get on top of, you know, what was causing stress in my life and where was I in that? Because a lot of times when we're stressed out or we feel like we're caught in something, we become the victim or we're blaming people a lot. Also, we might be triggered really easily. We might you know, have anger and frustration and, or be sad or have a lot of fear or anxiety or even feel guilt and shame. And so we, we use these little mechanisms, especially when we're unconscious of it and we don't have awareness of it, where we'll just be lodged into this spin. I call it the vicious cycle. And so what are these techniques and empowerment tools that we can actually step back and start having choice? And it's about being that choice so that you can be at cause versus effect. A lot of times when we're at the effect of our life, we're reacting, we're, you know, again, the victim or we're blaming. And so what are these steps that we can do to really be at cause and be empowered? And so what are the beginning steps of responding versus reacting? Well, the first thing I do is that whenever I react to something, I, you know, at this point, I think it's kind of funny because it's, it's, it's just feedback. It's, it's more work that I have to work on myself and go through processes to kind of look at it at different angles so I can release it and integrate it. And what did I learn from that? And a, a step that I do is, especially if I react, uh, most of the time when you're reacting, you're not breathing. Your breath is coming from your chest or your throat and it's very shallow. So the first thing I do is I take a deep breath, a deep inhale, and I do a long exhale. And this gives me time. It gets me time to, to get on top of what's going on and um, be able to see it from multiple angles. And so this is really important. So I, what my first thing is I recommend for you is to slow down the breath. The second thing is to actually um, come, become like disassociated. You can come out, it's called the witness in certain uh, systems of information but it's, it's really being able to like see yourself. And again, this is where I go into this um, in inquiry of, of this is so interesting. And I know part of the work I have to do is release that baggage because I'm obviously being triggered by something. And so that's something that I need to release because I know that um, that baggage is hurting me the most. And so part of that is gonna be a forgiveness process. I have to forgive others, but I ultimately have to forgive myself as well. So this is something too, and, and in that forgiveness process, usually there's a different way of looking at the situation where you learn from it, and it's actually an opportunity to learn. So these are just a few things to think about, especially now that we know like with science and everything else that we can have upwards to 60,000 thoughts a day. So it's getting curious. I always look at, you know, where are we spending our energy? And thoughts take up a lot of energy, especially if we're in these vicious cycles of triggers and, you know, being in other people's stuff or being very external. And so what are these, you know, methods and strategies in the beginning that are little, that we can start just getting on top of it so we can have awareness and then start looking at strategies to, to be able to integrate it and learn from it and to move on. So these are just a few things to think about and I, you know, there's more here and it's just, again, just kind of starting that idea and I wanna hear your comments, so leave a comment below and if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.